I'm going to share you guys a video that happened nine months ago. I got the actual footage of what happened. It was early in the morning and I was on the way to make a delivery and I was on a skinny skinny road and what ended up happening is the car was coming one way and I was going the other way but the car was partially in my lane and it was on a curve so I had one or two choices I could do one run over the car or two swerve and miss the car but as you can see in the video there's no shoulder the only thing that there was was a white line and that's it but I moved over as far as I could it was about safety and the safety was I wasn't going to hit that car so what I ended up doing I put the the woodshed in the ditch that's what I ended up doing I put the woodshed in the ditch no damage on the woodshed all that happened was a little bit of mud got on the woodshed and there was no damage to the trailer and when we came out we ended up delivering that load anyway there was nothing wrong with the load uh, the only bad thing about it they think two tow trucks came out that could not do the job they ended up overpricing uh, Woody for a service that they couldn't do so that what they ended up doing they got the rotator in there once the rotator got there he was able to pick me up it was early in the morning it's raining or not raining hard but it's like a drizzle right it's drizzling uh, the pavements wet and I had a car in my lane now what would you guys do I know some people might say I did run over the car no you wouldn't no you wouldn't you no matter what the situation is you're not gonna hit the car you would probably do what I did um, but anyway here's the footage I'm letting it go right now It's in the in the trailer. Oh, it's in the trailer? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what happened. I'm on a skinny road, I am in the ditch. But uh I was in my road, happened way down there where the curb was. See this white uh, yellow line here, down there where the curb was, there was a car that was on the line down there where the curb was. I moved over and when I did I got right on this white line and right down there and what happened was it sucked me in so hopefully I mean it's nobody's fault except for maybe the car that was on that yellow line and we do have a dash cam though anyway it threw me in the ditch that's what happened They're getting ready to pull me out of the ditch. Well, they're getting the trailer out first. But I see the truck tilting. It's not heavy. It, I, I've only got about two, three thousand pounds in there. But he don't have a rotator, so I'm not sure how he's uh, going to really manage this. He, he does have a strap over the trailer. But he's moving it. Well, they got a rotator out here now. These guys couldn't do it. I just got done talking to the sheriff and he gave me a business card and he told these other guys 
you're going to jack up the price on this because they couldn't do the job. So they ended up getting a rotator to do the job. So this guy, he'll be able to get it done. But uh, yeah, they hired the wrong people to do this. This is not the driver's fault. I don't believe that the driver could have done anything differently other than potentially have hit someone and they could have died. Okay, so we had one of our trucks at Woody's Transcontinental. Um, we had one of our trucks that uh, there was a car coming on a two-lane road right before our customer. There was a car coming and he was swerving in and out of his lane and he was swerving towards our truck. Our truck driver decided to avoid this collision and steer the truck into, um, into a ditch. Okay. Now the truck was not damaged as a result of this incident, but what happened is um, the tow companies. So what happened is when you call nine one one and you say, "Hey, I need a tow truck. I, you know, I try to avoid this car. My truck's in the ditch. Whatever." What happened is um, in the state of West Virginia, when you do a nine one one call out, the sheriff's department will call. They call over the radio. And they say, hey, this happened. We need tow trucks here to tow this truck out. And so they call everybody and their brother. And everybody and their brother shows up. And they all bill you for their time for, for coming to show up. Whether they tow you or not, they try to bill you for, um, for coming out to tow, even if they didn't tow. So we get this tow bill to get the truck out of the ditch. I personally believe 100% that the driver did the right thing by avoiding this car and going into the ditch. Um, with the situation as it was, I would not have done it differently myself. Okay. Um, so what happened is the tow companies decided that they were to bill us $12,000 or they were going to impound our truck and Prime Inc.'s trailer, okay? So, um, we paid the $12,000. But, uh, yeah, they hired the wrong people to do this.